Frightening for food, people. Let's get these bad boys going. Hey, this is Stuart Smith from Stuart and Designs. If you are new to the channel, I paint monsters for a living. <laughs> that is right. Paint monsters for a living today. Stinky's House of Horrors. I got three eight by nines to do for him. So we're gonna get those bad boys going. They are open on Halloween day and uh, they scare for food, people. So they're gonna give to the homeless shelters. They give them tons of food due to their uh, haunted house hot action. So uh, we're gonna do a little instruction with it. And uh, of course we're doing evil clowns as usual. So let's get this bad boy going. Thanks for coming on board. Please subscribe, like, share. Um, follow me on Instagram, like me on Facebook, check me out on Pinterest, people. And uh, hey, check out our swag store, stewardism.shop, and Michigan Adventures, Michigan Escapes. Escapes, let's get it right. Escapes. Um, all those links are in the description below. I'll throw some extra videos in as well. So let's get to painting, people. Let's get these bad boys going. Thank you so much for coming on board, and we'll see you on the next video. All right, I got a little video up in the corner to show you how you put your canvases up. You don't want to be too tight with them because as the paint dries, it's going to size your canvas. That means it's going to shrink. So I just have a little bit of give on it, and uh, that way when she shrinks, you don't get the rounded edges when, when you're... Uh, Get your canvas. I try to get them as straight as possible. Because sometimes people like to line these up and prefer that they don't have to put up like furry strips or something like that to uh, give it a decent look. So just FYI. Concerning applying your paint, you do not want the paint to be too wet even though that is conducive for soaking into the, the canvas, um, actually muslin is what I'm using here, um, you want it to be pretty thick. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to soak in on its own, but if it's too thin, you'll get a lot of those pills, and it causes issues when it comes to the brightness of the canvas. Not so much when it comes to doing your detail or anything, but... Try to sit there and make sure your paint's a little thicker than normal. Um, day glow right out of the can or just slightly touched with water is doing just fine for me here. And then uh, the roller, you know, you just use a cheap roller. Um, True value, you know, they have their dollar roller packs and six of them stuff. You just want something soft to give an even coat to the paint. Um, that'll, that'll help later on with uh, your detail, that will help with the brightness, and it also will force the paint into the material uh, for a permanent application. Okay, today we're doing something different. We are going to pinch the canvases rather than have them implode, come forward. This piece over here, the character is coming forward and the background is going to go go bye bye okay so this guy really comes forward we have a mixture of green and blue and that's going to be punching all over the place but the main character our nasty clown there he's going to come forward big time and all of this will recede okay the difference between these ones is we're using four basic colors we have red orange blue and green okay now the green will sit above the blue, but then the orange and red will push both of these backwards. So it's gonna look like almost like a window. So when they're on the wall with the 3D glasses, he's gonna be way back there and the red will come way forward and the orange will just give it a step from red to orange and then a real deep indent with the blue and then back up a little bit with the green. So that's gonna work out really nice. But obviously, these are like happy, happy, joy, joy canvases, all that color, oh, you know? But then with black shadowing and highlights, this 
turns into that. Okay, now it's not the same character, but you're getting the point. That it's all about the black. It's all about the detail that brings these things to life. And then the highlights that just make them pop, make them look wet, make them look alive. And especially with that dot in the eye, that really gives it depth. The uh, drool, the, the wetness of the teeth. All these can bring a, a flat UV Spencer's you know, guy jumping over the moon, boring poster into something special. So I'm letting these guys dry for a bit and it's time for detail. Okay, a lot of people ask what this little thing is in my hand when I'm working. I don't use stencils. I like to freehand everything. But this, this is a chunk of rope. I usually buy the Malaysian rope and go to True Value, Home Depot, Lowe's and get it for like eight bucks. It comes up, you know, 200 feet of it. It's about, about an inch around. And I fray it all out and make balls out of it. Then I throw some clear coat on it and then flatten it down with a, a rock or a book or something. And then I'm able to sit there and use this. And as it builds up with paint, I'm able to shape it. So I can move it, I can make all sorts of different textures. For people doing makeup, this is fantastic. Okay, you can shape it to make certain shapes around eyes and all sorts of things. So that's what I use to do a lot of the texturing. Um, saves time and energy, uh, but yeah, just rope. And this, this one here is Seen Better Days. It's all built up with paint. You can see where it's all glossy and stuff. It's, it's gone through a lot. I have about four or five of these right now, but then at some point in time they get too old, you throw them away and grab another piece of rope make it up and boom you got a new piece okay so that's a little trick of the trade to help you out with some texturing and and things to make things go faster
Well, we got two done, one more to go. It's cold out there, so I'm gonna whip that other one out tomorrow, ship them out on Monday. Thanks for watching, people. Hey, please subscribe, check out the links in the description below, and uh, really appreciate you coming on board, and I hope I've taught you something today. Y'all take care, we'll see you on the next video.